Another political reaction. Singh Arvind Singh. Savant of the Shiv Sena is with us on the phone line. Mr. Savant, Rahul and Sonia Gandhi both have been summoned by the ED in the National Herald case, sir. All right. In the meantime, as we reconnect and get more political reactions for our viewers, let's uh, play out exactly what the Congress party had to say in a press briefing that was held in a short while back. Aaj fir, us samay ki Angrezi hakumat ka samarthan karne wali vichar dhara, azadi ke andolan ki is awaj ko dabane ka ghinona shariyantar kar rahi hai. Is shariyantar ke mukhiya, स्वयं प्रधानमंत्री श्री नरेंद्र मोदी हैं और उनका हथियार उनका चहेता और पालतू ईडी है इस बार उन्होंने एक नई कायराना व डरपोक साजिश की है नेशनल हेरल्ड हमले में अब प्रधानमंत्री श्री नरेंद्र मोदी ने कांग्रेस अध्यक्षा श्रीमती सोनिया गांधी जी व हमारे नेता श्री राहुल गांधी जी को ईडी से नोटिस जारी करवाया है साफ है कि तानाशाह डर गया है देश को गुमराह करने के लिए भारतीय राष्ट्रीय कांग्रेस के नेतृत्व के खिलाफ एक घिनोना और कायरतापूर्ण षड्यंत्र रचा जा रहा है Arvind Savant of the Shiv Sena with us on this broadcast. Thank you so much for speaking with us, sir. Uh, how do you view this? Uh, Savant sent to uh, the mother and son duo of the Gandhi Parivar. It uh, is when they are expected to uh, present themselves before the enforcement directorate. It's nothing but a political vendetta. It is, we are experiencing it in Maharashtra. And uh, let us come, uh, let the BJP come clear on this, that they are the only party which is uh, which consists of uh, all transparent, non-corrupt uh, people. Let them announce it once. Let them announce it once. They are not corrupt by, by virtue of money and other things, but they are corrupt mentally now. But Mr. Savant, uh, the Enforcement Directorate has been investigating this case, uh, at least the PMLA case for the last uh, eight months. In fact, the case has been dating back to a decade. 2012 is when the first uh, case was filed uh, in this particular matter by Dr. Subramanian Swami. And the Enforcement Directorate also has attached a few properties that uh, belong to uh, AJL, to National Herald, something that the Gandhi Parivar owns. So this is a due process of law, is what the agency would say. Try, try to understand the issue. Issue is what? If a person is uh, under the, I mean, uh, observation or the investigation of the ED and other things, okay, let it's fine. But when he joins BJP, next day the file is closed. There, there lies the issue. There lies the issue. People who join BJP, then nothing will happen. Not only nothing will happen, there will be. You rewarded with the ministries, mem member of Rajya Sabha, all those things can happen in this way once you join them. And prior to that, they were under the scanning of the ED. This is this is the issue. And therefore, it is a political event that time. Okay. Right, Mr. Savan, thank you so much for speaking with us here on Times Now. Uh, the Shiv Sena MP there lending all his weight to his ally in Maharashtra there, saying this is nothing but political vendetta. And uh, Madhav, this is exactly what uh, we've been... Uh, Seeing the kind of reactions that have been coming to the fore, uh, it's not just about uh, summons to Sonia and Rahul Gandhi, but uh, yesterday there were summons to DK Shivkumar. Uh, Satendra Jain of the Amadmi Party is also in the ED net. He's been arrested. And uh, the one templated response that comes to the fore from the opposition, a united one at that against the BJP, is that this is nothing but misuse of central agencies. Well, absolutely. And as, in fact, uh, we have... This uh, enforcement director is one to come out and say that they have gone about this in a systematic manner. Both Malik Arjun Kharge and Pawan Bansal, who are directly associated with AJL, have in fact been questioned, and therefore uh, they are going to now question uh, Sonia Gandhi and her uh, and those two others who are in fact uh, shareholders uh, in this entire case. That is, of course, uh, uh, Rahul Gandhi and uh, Priyanka Gandhi. That is going to be uh, the statement that would come in from the enforcement directorate. Uh, so clearly, at this point of time, notice going to Sonia Gandhi as well as uh, Rahul Gandhi. Uh, that's the information that we have coming in. Uh, now, we know that AJL is really the publisher of National Herald and 99% of the stake in AJL is, of course, with the Gandhis. And in such a situation, uh, what is it that uh, will be the explanation that will be forthcoming for whatever other charges that uh, they are facing vis-a-vis -vis the entire enforcement related case? That's going to be important to watch out for. Also, of course, uh, I can tell you that the Congress is bound to make a big uh, pomp and show of Sonia Gandhi actually going to the enforcement directed office. Uh, we have seen similar scenes when she had visited the court in the past. Uh, uh, with uh, the Congress.
uh, brass coming out in full strength in solidarity with Sonia Gandhi. Uh, what will uh, really be the Congress's strategy? Uh, we will get to more details on that, but that is certainly likely to be the most uh, likely scenario from here on. So this is uh, going to be uh, something that is going to be a very hotly contested issue over coming days. The enforcement director is saying that it is only going as per the rule of law, as per the pro legal process is concerned, and they have go gone about the entire investigation in a very systematic manner where summons have been issued. Uh, will Rahul Gandhi attend that summons on the 8th of June? As of now, there is no clarity on that because the only statement coming in from the Congress's official spokespersons in that press conference is that if he is available and here within the country, he's certainly going to uh, right. attend that summons on the 8th of June. But Sonia Gandhi, it does appear by all uh, likely indications, would be there on the 8th of June. And what really will we be seeing uh, when that does happen? And are we expecting to see congressmen coming out in large numbers uh, for that particular uh, right. summons when she does appear before the enforcement directed? All Absolutely. of that is something for that now, we'll but, uh, the Congress has uh, been extremely clear in its stance. They say that we will uh, provide ourselves, present ourselves in front of the uh, enforcement uh, agency. We will uh, be cooperating with the agencies because we have nothing to hide and that's exactly what Abhishek Manu Singhvi, a senior Congress leader, uh, MP, as well as a senior lawyer, had to say. That the fake issue of AGL, AJL, Associated Journals, is an attempt by BJP's propaganda machinery to deviate, diverge and digress. The NCP's Majid Memon now with us on the phone line. So thank you so much for speaking with us. Uh, how do you view this? Someone sent to uh, Rahul and Sonia Gandhi now over the National Herald AJL case. Uh, 8th June is when Sonia Gandhi is expected to present herself before the agency. Uh, well, I um, uh, fail to understand that this uh, too often calling people or arresting people as they did in the case of the health minister of Delhi, you know, by these agencies in the name of investigation, how genuine, how fair, how honest is the approach? Because people have started suspecting that if these central agencies are being abused by those in power, then it is very sad day for uh, rule of law. And that is, this has been uh, uh, lamented by the Honorable Chief Justice of India himself a few weeks ago when he has made a statement that central agency's functioning needs to be monitored by some committee. So I'm afraid that this summon to summons to Rahul and Sonia uh, should not be for the purpose of uh, creating a political impact to the benefit of BJP. If that is so, it would be unfortunate. I am afraid it is not so. And if it is for the purpose of genuine furtherance of investigation, then it's fine. Right, stay on with me. Congress's Rashid Alvi is also with us on this broadcast. And Mr. Alvi, uh, this is just political witch hunt. This is vendetta, is what the Congress also has been saying, is what your allies have also been saying, a united opposition, in fact. But as far as this particular case goes, uh, the investigation has been on uh, in a steadfast manner, at least for the last eight months. The case, of course, is a decade old. And in the course of the last few years, in 2019, in fact, about 16... Uh, crore worth assets of National Herald were also attached. So the agency is just going to say that this is exactly uh, what the investigation showed. We're following due process of law. Actually, it is very unfortunate. But if Rahul Gandhi and Sonia Gandhi has committed anything wrong and uh, against the law, then, then I suggest, Manin Modi ji, you should arrest both of them immediately. Put them behind the bus. Who is asking you not to go ahead? All agencies are working under the pressure of uh, this BJP government, whether it is ED or Income Tax Department or CBI. All opposition leaders, they are corrupt, except Bharti Janta Party. They are honest. Ganga mein hai hai. And rest of the leaders belong to every political party. All of them are absolutely dishonest. It is very unfortunate whether it is it is the democracy in our country. If anybody says that now there is no democratic system in India, then they start to cry. It is very, I strongly condemn this. And again, I will repeat, if they have committed anything illegal, immediate action should be taken and put them behind the bars. They want to take political advantage out right. of it.
nothing else. Right, Mr. Alvi, you say this is just at the behest of the ruling party, which is the BJP, that all agencies, not just the income tax department or the enforcement director is working. But uh, unfortunately, not much in terms of relief has come to the fore uh, from the courts either, because in 2018, uh, the Delhi High Court actually gave the permission to the income tax department to reopen this particular case. The Gandhi Parivar had challenged uh, that particular uh, move of the income tax department, but the High Court saw no merit in it. Uh, as far as court is concerned, we have respect for the court. But these agencies which are working under the pressure of uh, 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 this uh, BJP government, everybody knows this fact. We, uh, our first reaction, first reaction of everybody, first reaction of every Indian is if anybody has committed anything wrong, anybody has uh, violated the law, law should take its own course. But my question is whether people of the country, they trust this government? Whether anybody of this country, they have faith in this government? What they are doing, they are doing uh, uh, just uh, according to law? It is all rubbish. Sonia Gandhi, it is India. It is not Pakistan that every ruler who comes in power put uh, uh, predecessors uh, behind the bars. It is happening here in India. Right. Right, Mr. Alvi, thank you so much for speaking with us here on Times.